tell. Uh, do you get, I guess, where, where does your mind go you know, the night before the game, morning of the game, and stuff? You know, it's all about focus. Um, all about what we worked on the week. Just think about that, and also trying to just clear our minds, uh, get a good night rest. You know, no distractions anymore. You know, we should be out there and show what we're doing, play our hardest. Can you sleep well the night before a game? Yeah. Coach told us yesterday that the previous four practices have been really good for the receivers. I'm guessing it's been good for you as well if it's good for them. So tell us about that and how the offense is clicking heading into game day. Yeah, we're clicking really well right now, you know, especially heading into, into game week. The last four or five practices have been, been good for the offense as a whole. Uh, completing more balls, um, catching the ball a lot better than we have, we have been um, in fall camp. So, um, I'm excited for those guys and they're doing a good job. Is that a general byproduct of just now having worked through the offseason at four weeks of practice and timing is better? Yeah, I think timing is better. I think it's all about um, them knowing what to do, what to do uh, during that play and not, not trying to focus on what they actually have to do and just get in there and make them catch it. A lot more focus. Those guys are getting in the jug machine a lot more and um, just working harder at it. You've got some running backs who could be weapons catching passes. Do uh, you expect maybe even more of that this year? Yeah, 100%. You know, um, you guys saw last year at Michigan, um, there's two running backs like that, catching the ball in the backfield, and then obviously you know, uh, Rooster and Henry, uh, even else do the same thing. So, um, Coach Gattis' offense relies on a lot of running backs catching the ball, tight ends, you know, so uh, yeah, I see a lot of that. How nice has it been for you to see Jalen? Or, uh, sorry, uh, Zion back out there the last couple practices. Yeah, it's been good, you know. Um, he's still working through it, and uh, I talked to him a lot, and he's feeling a lot better. I'm just excited that team is back. How different does Will make this offense when he's healthy? A lot. You know, Will's, Will's a special playmaker, and, uh, you know, you have to almost double cover him to, to stop him, you know, so uh, that's going to bring a lot of like, attention to him and, and help the other receivers out and make plays too because uh, you know, they're going to try to game plan for him especially so um, yeah, he's a playmaker. You guys always play through bumps and bruises but you know, him having the, the shoulder and then kind of trying to keep him safe throughout camp. Any precautions during the season with him that you, you try to make sure you yeah, put the ball in a way where he's not getting smashed by safety or any of that thought process in the back I'm not going to throw him into a safety. <laughs> 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 you know, He's a big body in the middle. He'll go up and get, make, the, make the play. And if he takes a hit, he takes a hit. But I'm not going to force it in there where he's going to take a big shot. So. Yeah, obviously, the expectation is to get away and get the opening. But I guess how important is it for this second goal to win on Saturday? Yeah, it's very important. You know, it doesn't matter who we're playing. You know, um, this team is a good team. They brought in a lot of transfers. So uh, we're just going to go out. It doesn't matter who we're playing. And we're playing our hardest. You know, we got to dominate. Um, up front, in the trenches, and make plays down the field. How, How important do you think it is to, to get a lot of kids playing time, you know, in this first game? Yeah, I mean, we're not so much worried about that. We're just worried about uh, just going in there and dominating. If it happens, it happens, you know. Um, you know, hopefully we get that, but, you know, we got to go in there and dominate uh, up front, in the trenches, and do what we do best. How would you describe Rashard Smith as a weapon, and what does he bring to the wide receiver room? Yeah, Rashard's a great player, you know. One of the fastest guys in there, a uh, special playmaker. Um, he's going to bring a lot of, um, you know, those explosive plays coming in. You know, um, not even only the pass game, but we have um, some other stuff um, made for him like we did last year. And um, he brings a, he's a special talent that we're So I'm excited to see him. Same play. Malik Curtis is a young cornerback, but uh, we were hearing coaches talk about him a lot. Do anything in the second scrimmage or you kind of stand out at any point where you kind of like, hey, this guy's. Who is this dude? Yeah, I would say Lee Curtis has been one of the, the players that has developed the most. Over, he's a freshman, he was a freshman last year, sophomore now, so over this past year, you know, he's been making plays, he's been getting with the ones, twos, and making plays on all, all of the quarterbacks and all the receivers. So, um, you know, Coach Ponce calls him Wheezy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he, he was like, better not throw it Wheezy anymore, because uh, he's been making plays. And, yeah, he, he's developed a lot. Yeah, they're just with the secondary in general. Uh, a lot of guys returning, but what's different, or do you see something different with this group, maybe even from spring or a year ago? Who is that? The, the secondary the as a whole that you're facing. There's a lot of returners, but is there anything different that you're seeing? Yeah, a lot of returners. I mean, they press a lot, press bail, and um, it's been hard on the receivers in fall camp. And, um, 
um, I felt like that's that's been good for us, you know, to struggle a little bit at the end of the beginning and uh, make them make the receivers work. And I think that uh, the receivers have really improved uh, just because they've been doing that, especially with corners like Tyree, Takori, um, DJ, you know, Isaiah Dunson, uh, DP. There's, there's a bunch of guys that, um, I, like on defense, we have a bunch of starters that might not start, but they're really starters, you know. So especially D line, um, you know, the secondary. So. I'm excited to see the defense improve this year and watch them play. Coach Cristobal touched on how you've developed as a as a leader in the past year. Um, how are you taking a role in getting those backup quarterbacks ready for these first two games where they're probably going to get some reps? Yeah, no, we just compete every day, you know. Uh, I mean, they get the reps too in practice. Uh, when there's two, two reps or three reps. So, um, yeah, we make each other everybody, every, make each other better every day in that room. And, um, always push each other, and, and I know they're ready to play. So. Tyler, is it a lot different this year? You know, you came into the season last year as a backup behind your King, and then he gets injured, you have to come in, you know, and finish out the season. How different is it this year going into, you know, a game where you're the starter in week one, you've had all this off-season anticipation and hype up?